Amy had a mick egg and Mel are in a dressing room. How did you lot find the understudy run in Stratford? Egg, how did you find it? Oh, petrifying. <laughs> yeah, it was really? so scary. It like, is a white knuckle run. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's also very fun. I remember the understudy run in Stratford. I had this moment. I went on um, for the first scene and Mel, my mother, in the scene, um, I was looking opposite her and it was time for my first line. And I seem to remember saying the next line from the next scene <laughs> and then thinking, oh no, that's the wrong line, oh, I've got to, I've got to get this back. And at the time I was holding on to my oh. hand and she looked into my eyes and she was like, you've got this. Oh. <laughs> and it was like a proper USC moment and then I was able to get the line back and carry on. But no, you, you yeah, did that, was, or you, you did oh. that all yourself. Yeah. I think we all had moments like that in that understudy run. I definitely had, had one when my life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> I don't remember much of the actual experience, but I do remember afterwards. I wasn't sad. I don't know what it was, but I burst out crying yeah. at the end oh. because it was such a like, a lot of probably adrenaline yeah. and and uh, you're also doing, in those understudy runs, uh, if you're playing two sort of big roles that are on all the time, you are on stage more than mm -hmm. you ever would be. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like this strange endurance test and it's so much more, for me it was so much more than I physically ever had to do on stage. Yeah, and so yeah. just yeah. coming out of that experience, I was fine and I was getting my wig on. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really joyous feeling though, once you've achieved yeah. That understudy run mm, at the yeah. end. I loved it, I thought it was really fun. It's, uh, no. I, I agree, I had nice a lovely time. Nice Watching the As You Like It one, which mm. was the week yeah. before ours. Mm. Yeah. And there was so much solidarity in the audience. Mm. Yeah. And mm. I actually, I wept a you lot. You did. Yeah. <laughs> I could not stop crying. But the members of the public were also supportive and they knew it was like a rehearsal and they yeah. were all just, mm. yeah, it was just a really supportive audience and it was yeah. really fun. I loved it, I did it again. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do the week's extra rehearsals again. <laughs> well, I would do the show again. <laughs> yeah. That is the annoying thing, because you come off stage after this understudy performance and you're like, I want to go celebrate! Yeah. And it's like, I'm yeah. going to have to go do the show now. <laughs> after we had our understudy run in Stratford, we had a very, very long break before our understudy run at the Barbican, which was not open to the public. So the understudy runs at the Barbican were for a few friends and family, we had a very small invited audience. We didn't have mm -hmm. costumes this time, so it was yeah. more for us than and anything. Mainly because whenever we transfer from the RFT in Stratford, which is a thrust stage, whenever we're in the Barbican and we're on tour, it's all end on stages. Mm -hmm. So uh, we re-rehearse them in the normal company, so it makes sense for us to re-rehearse it as an understudy company as well. I did record a little bit from that time. Actually, Mick, you recorded quite a bit, because you stole my camera at one point. <laughs> yeah, I did. Roll BT. Amy is Today, in we have come in early at 10am to do some understudy rehearsals because tomorrow we've got our understudy run. The prologue is being rehearsed on stage and it looks a bit weird because quite a few people are missing because they're doing other parts so some people are dancing on their own like Aaron and Mel. Mick and Cooney are on stage rehearsing the opening of part two. <laughs> <laughs> Leo and Emily in the wings. All the silken pie I love thee well, and the bad ones did not. And I have no more to say. <laughs> I'm here with Aaron and JC backstage. Hey, do you not think we look like a 21st century Mario and Luigi? <laughs> uh, I would say that if your moustache wasn't so pathetic, James. You're calling me out on the vlog about my moustache. I am, yeah. Sorry. Cooney runs off crying. Aaron smiles at the camera. Cut to Amelia in the wings. Excited, Amelia. Very. And I do know my lines. <laughs> As do we all. Mm -hmm. Cut to a concerned looking Emily. Okay. What can I do to help? Dance. The camera starts to bob up and down, but you can't actually see Mick dancing because he's behind the camera. That's better. I sold it. Yeah? It probably was pointing the camera in the wrong place, considering I was the one doing the dancing. Yeah, I know. Do you want me to hold it? Well, you don't. No, it's quite alright. Oh, I don't yeah. want to do it again. No, no, no. <laughs> That's enough. Back to the dressing room. Well, welcome back. Thanks for <laughs> So we did the understudy run during the day, but that evening, a certain Michael Patrick what? went on as Grumio. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah. It was in Shrew, which was really fortuitous that I got a full day's rehearsal doing my understudy performance and then I got to do it that night which made everything really relaxed and really chilled 
and met my mum and mates Rover as well watching it so they got to see me in the barbican very last minute. I have a clip of your curtain call Aww. from that day. Aww. Roll DT. The Tony of the True Company are on stage. Claire and Joe bring Mick forwards for a bow. <laughs> Bow as a company and back to the dressing room. Oh, oh. That's lovely. I wanted to ask you, have you been on for your understudy roles? And if you have, then how was it? Tuesday was the first time I've ever been on for, for Sophie as Gremia. There's something very different about doing it in front of a paying audience and with the actual actors who do the other parts. It's amazing how generous the rest of the company are. And it felt like everything lifted a little bit. What's sort of weird is because Sophie has um, lots of things, sort of signature moves. So for instance, she pulls out a sword and she does lots of sword play and she does gliding, which I tried to do in her dress, but I'm a bit shorter than Sophie. And I <laughs> <laughs> but you have to make it your own without imposing anything on the other actors that you're working with who would normally yeah. do it with that. Yeah, it's tricky that's a tricky bit. It it tricky. You wanted to make, I see you want to make it your own and do your own thing, but you can't do it your own thing in such a way it's mm. going to mess up someone else who's already doing something. Yeah. And you also, Mel, have been on for Aeschylus at last minute. Was it in the half that you found yeah. out? Just half hour call. So that's half hour call is technically 35 minutes before the show begins. Yeah, and she, she basically is, says the second line in the play. Mm. Whoa, that was scary. <laughs> Half the time you're just going, I think I'm over here, but I don't know. <laughs> Am I in the wrong place? Yeah, I'm completely upstaging Tony Byrne now. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Oh. Too bad, Tony. <laughs> yeah, Tony. I've been on for Bianco, Elbow, Secretary. Is that it? I think so. I mean, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> As Mel said about like the whole company coming together and saying, yeah, mm. yeah, we, we, we've got you. You come off stage and you see your USC people like watching. <laughs> you go, so you like, you feel really, really supported. Yeah. When you play Hortensia and Pedant, there's a quick change every scene. Mm. And the first half was enjoyable. The second half was fun, but wild. <laughs> so like, it was, that was like a really fun adrenaline to like get to the end of that. And we made all the changes and yeah. 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 And you've also been on as I've been on as Mariana, so I've done half of my I've done one understudy in True and one understudy in Measure. And you were brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And from the other side, when you're not the one who's understudying, I think yeah. it's so it's so exciting, especially in a job that's this long, when there's something that's different. Yeah. You know, there's mm -hmm. just even one cog in the machine sort of changing yeah. it like it really invigorates the whole show yeah. Amy you've been on I have been on I have not been on for shrew at all yet uh, but for measure I've done one of the gents I've done froth and I've covered Anna's singing part as well and it, it was quite nice because I covered froth and which gent is Tom Gent two the case <laughs> <laughs> I covered Froth and Gent two um, for all of the Spain uh, yeah. leg of the tour, mm. so it was quite nice to do that you for a solid amount. Sweet suit, well. oh, 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 oh my good god! In a suit. I've been on for Pompey, but I did a lot of rehearsal as Pompey because David missed a couple of rehearsals, so I was also. Uh, rehearsing that, so I felt really comfortable doing Pompey, and again, I had quite a bit of notice. So it was been pretty. I've never been called up at last minute like mm. some of you guys have. If time travel was possible, yeah. and you could go back in time and give yourself mm. some tips before doing this understudy journey, what do you have told yourself? Breathe and be kind to yourself. Mm. Yeah, you know, everybody else is being kind to you, so mm -hmm. don't be mean to yourself. Mm. <laughs> Mick, do you have anything? I mean, I'm great already, like, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> I would say don't don't be getting annoyed when you have to go back and do your original part because your original part is what you were cast at and you love doing your original part and it's lots of fun so try not to get too annoyed. Relax into it and let yourself enjoy it. The intensity of it is quite hard sometimes so kind of just like giving yourself a pat on the back and going like, you know, well done, you've, yeah, you've yeah. done well, so keep keep going. When we were in London, I remember spending so much time just sat in my digs learning lines. I felt that's all I did. But I'm really glad I did it because it bought me time later on. Yes. Yeah, um, learn your lines early. Yeah, and have fun. Full yeah. hiccups there at the end. Oh, that's a nice ending. <laughs> <laughs> And oh uh, yeah, thanks again to Lee Tony and Emma Baggett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lee Tony. Lee Tony. 
Lee Tony. And we don't have anyone here representing the as you like it understudy. So we'll just say Emma Baggett, Emma Baggett, Emma Baggett. Cut to black. Cut to Mick and Cooney in the stalls of the Barbican. They're sat on their phones and they don't look too happy. The camera zooms up on them. Maybe they're not happy because they're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And how will they know when the next vlog is out? Well, guys, that's easily solved. Just subscribe. Cut to black.